Hi, good morning. This is our third day in Darjeeling and today we have planned to visit Lloyd Botanical Garden and Padmaja Naidu Geological Park and we have done the breakfast. Now we will go to the Mall Road and we'll drink tea or coffee. We prefer tea most of the time here in Darjeeling and also we'll uh, film for you guys and I hope you guys will enjoy this vlog too. Through the foggy lane, we walked to the mall. Shops were still closed and they were preparing to open to sell their goods to the tourists. A cup of tea was much needed then. The mall was so fun filled in the morning. We enjoyed pony riding there. Cute ponies were dressed up nicely and giving happiness to the tourists. After enjoying the pony ride, we started our walk towards the Padmaja Naidu Geological Park. After a few steps, we stopped near the St. Andrew's Church. This church was laid on 30th November 1843. It is an old Anglican church and the early worshippers of the church included many Scottish soldiers and tea planters living in Darjeeling that time. The church is not open to the public on working days. Only Sundays you can visit the church. Our next stop was at the Strawberry Nightingale Park. This is also on the same way. If you get confused on those hilly paths, you can ask any local about the location. They are always happy to help you. Experiencing the greenery on both the sides of the roads, we reached the Strawberry Nightingale Park. The Schwabri Nightingale Park is a very beautiful place to relax and to enjoy the flora of the Darjeeling Himalayan range. During the British colonial period, the place was known as Shrewsbury, and this was a private courtyard of Sir Thomas Tartan's bungalow. In 1934, this park was completely destroyed by an earthquake and later on this place has many developments. During 1980s, the park was completely neglected due to the political tension in Darjeeling during that time. Now it has been reopened to the public again. The park is slightly at the elevated level. The pebbled walkway has gone all around the boundaries of the park. This lovely park also has a small lake with a small bridge over it. At the middle of the park has a huge open circle where tourists do film their creative videos and click photos. 
There is also a small glass house at the park where you will be able to see different types of Himalayan orchids and other flowering plants and cactus. After experiencing the aesthetic Nightingale Park, we started our walk for the Padmaja Naidu Geological Park. Through the dark green Himalayan woods, we reached the Padmaja Naidu Geological Park. The Padmaja Naidu Geological Park is a large area surrounded by Himalayan flora and fauna. This geological park established in 1958 and it is situated at the elevation of 7000 feet, which is considered as the largest high altitude geological park in India. One needs to buy a ticket to enter the park and it charges 100 rupees per person. If you are carrying a camera, you will have to pay extra 10 rupees for the same. One of the main attractions of the Padmaja Naidu Geological Park is Himalayan Red Panda. This is a very special faces of Darjeeling Himalayan Range. They are very shy and cute. When we went to their place, most of them were resting on the branches and some were roaming around from one tree to another. Apart from the red panda, it has Himalayan goral, Himalayan thar, blue sheep, yak, mismi, takin, snow leopard, leopard, Tibetan wolf, and black panthers are also other attractions of the Padmajanaidu Geological Park. There is a Himalayan black bear too, but this time the black bear was sleeping the entire day and we couldn't see him well. It also has a reptile section and a bird section. In the bird section, you will get to see silver pheasant and they will come and give you some poses for the photos. Also, you will be seeing common pheasant, golden pheasant, macaws and many more. It is also fun to watch the Himalayan fauna and also to know more about them at the Padmaja Naidu Geological Park.
There is a Bengal Natural History Museum at the backside of the Geological Park. There you have West Bengal's different animal preserved samples and details. Inside the museum, we are not allowed to click photos. Inside the Geological Park, there is a Himalayan Mountaineering Institute. This institute is one of the premier mountaineering institutes in the world and definitely a must visit place in Darjeeling. This institute was found on 4th November 1954 by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to commemorate the first successful ascent of Mount Everest by Serpa Tenjing Norge and Sir Edmund Hillary. Being the premier mountaineering institute of Southeast Asia, HMI is also referred to as a mecca of Indian mountaineering. The institute has an international reputation and has trained thousands of people from across the globe in mountaineering and allied adventure activities. There is another museum and this is known as HMI Museum. The museum has a large model of the entire Himalayan range and its peaks. It's also showcasing the mountaineering equipments. This museum displays the original belongings of Sherpa Tenjing Norge of the day when he successfully climbed the Mount Everest. As photography is not allowed at the museum, respecting their protocols, we did not click any photo inside the museum, but it is indeed a must visit place in Darjeeling. Our walk resumed again and this time for the Lloyd Botanical Garden. Through the Chaurasta, beside the attractive building of the Darjeeling Government College, we reached the bus stop. From the bus stop, just 10 minutes walk to the Lloyd Botanical Garden. The Lloyd Botanical Garden is a place where we have flowers, trees, plants and many more from the forestry of the Darjeeling Himalayan range. This garden is a rich place to experience the flora of the region. This green paradise has amazing species like tea fern, maple, oak, wild geranium and especially rhododendron. This is a huge area, in total 16 hectares area divided by different sections of plants like rhododendron section, fern section, palm section, etc. It also has an amazing glass house with colorful flowering plants and orchids.
After visiting the large garden, we entered a sweet shop first and had some sweets there. And then after a 10 minutes walk, we entered a coffee shop named The Caramel. Today was a very long day and now I'm sitting at the Caramel Cafe uh, in Chaurasta and we have ordered a two black tea and these are chicken fiesta. So I want to taste how they are making this but this was a very long and very nice day. The ambience of the cafe is amazing. We started with a cup of Darjeeling tea and then chicken fiesta pizza. The food at the Caramel Cafe is as good as the ambience. It was indeed a very nice time we spent after a long day. In the evening, we roamed around the Gandhi Road area and Chaurasta. We also got some glimpse of the Buddhist wedding on the way. For dinner, we ordered Taipo, a very famous Tibetan food loved by locals and also some fried chicken balls from the roadside stalls. It was a very long day and also a beautiful one. With the evening crowd at the mall area, we moved towards our hotel. So it was the final day of our Darjeeling trip and uh, we enjoyed a lot. We've been to a uh, uh, different experience and also we have shop a lot. Today also we have uh, bought many things and uh, one uh, side bag for me and for my dad I have taken one scarf. It was uh, Ulein, nice Ul. Um, I will show you in a different vlog that. Oh, okay. Um, let me show you guys. It's here on me. So this was, this is the bag I have bought for me and uh, for my dad, I, I have taken this one. It's very soft. I love this. Nice one. Okay. So it was so compact trip and I love this time also uh, whenever I visit Darjeeling it is always uh, providing very nice things and very beautiful experience so this time also it was the uh, same and uh, this is uh, this tree's last vlog and tomorrow we are leaving I'll try to make more travel related and travel vlogs in coming days so stay tuned and also uh, stay with me for other lifestyle vlogs and also astrology vlogs also coming so bye for now. See you guys in the next vlog.